they were screaming using their language. I understand their language. What language would that be? Kalenj. Kalenjin. Thank you, Madam Witness. Uh, was there anything else that these uh, women would say to you? No. Now, you also mentioned at one point, if I'm uh, not correct, something about roadblocks as well. Is that correct? Yes. Now, are you able to give the uh, court an example of a situation where there was a roadblock that was employed? Yes. Can you please do so? Yes. Um, okay, there was a day also we went to a place called Sinai. Sinai, it's also located in Kimomo area. That was the place where there were roadblocks couldn't pass through. And just so that we're all clear, uh, what is a, a Sinai? Is that a village, a town? It's also a village. And in terms of uh, proximity, is that near Eldoret? Yes. Approximately how much time would it take from Eldoret to uh, Sinai if you were to travel by, uh, by vehicle? Around 15 minutes. Now, if you could just help us and tell us uh, how many of you were uh, traveling to Sinai on the day that this incident occurred? That day we were many because we had big lollies. Okay, so you mentioned that you had you were many because you had big lollies. Approximately how many people were with you on that occasion? Around 200 to 300 people. And I understand that at one point you encountered a roadblock, is that correct? Yes. Now, just so that we can be clear on this matter, was the roadblock uh, on the highway or was it in Sinai itself? Okay. Sinai, it's an area. So, the roadblock is on Eldoret Eaton Highway. I understand, and just for the record, and so that uh, we can understand better, the Eldoret Ethan Highway is a highway that goes from Eldoret to a, a village or a town uh, called Ethan. Is that correct? Yes. Now, could you, uh, Madam Witness, describe to the court exactly who you saw manning the roadblock? Counsel, sorry to Ken interrupt, but these things are not small, the spelling of places and names. Um, Sinai wasn't spelled. Ma now we have Eton. I can... Thank you, Your Honor. I can do that. Uh, uh, Madam Witness, am I correct in stating that Sinai would be spelled S-I-N-A-I? -I? Yes. Am I also correct in stating, Madam Witness, that the, uh, the name Eaton would be spelled I-T-E-N? Is that correct? Yes. Thank you, Madam Witness. Now, when you did arrive at this uh, roadblock on the highway, could you describe to us the scene, what you saw at this roadblock? Okay. They had to block the road with wooden structures and some stones. 
and logs. All right, I'm reading from the transcript. You said it, you stated that they had to block the road with wooden structures and some stones. Who are you referring to when you're speaking about they? The ODM supporters. I understand you're referring to them as ODM supporters. But for the record, can you tell us uh, of what ethnicity these people were that were there at the roadblock on that day? They were mixed. They are Kalenjins, Luyas, Luos. Now, you've mentioned that there were Kalenjins, amongst others. Can you please explain to the court how uh, you came to this or arrived at the conclusion that they were indeed of Kalenjin ethnicity, some of the people that were there at the roadblock? Okay. From the looks, I can tell this is a Luya and this is a Luo. This one is a Kalenjin. Now, specifically in regards to the Kalenjin, uh, you've mentioned that because of the look, what exactly, what characteristics would you be able to tell us here in court made you think or believe that he was, they were Kalenjin? Take your time. Kalenjin is tall, thin, slim, black. Good. Now, you've mentioned, Madam Witness, the uh, different people that were there at this roadblock. Can you give an, uh, an estimate of the amount of, of people that were there manning the roadblock at that time? Um, I can range them at around 100 youths. And could you tell us approximately uh, what age group these youth were? They don't have the ages because they are mixed. I'm sorry, Madam Witness, I should have been maybe clear. Were they uh, younger people or older people amongst this group of people, the hundred people that were at the roadblock? What age were they approximately? Uh, between 20 and above. Now, um, when you and your group of campaigners arrived at the roadblock, what happened exactly? They shouted at us and they also stoned at us. Do you recall exactly what they were shouting at you? Yeah. Still, that is not our area. We should not campaign there. Now, Madam Witness, just so that we can understand this well, uh, when these people are saying it's not uh, your area, can you explain to the court what you took that to mean? Uh, meaning... We are not supposed to be in that place to campaign. Now, when you're saying we, you're referring to whom exactly? We, the lobby group of the Warembo. All right. Now, and I understand that you're, what you're stating is that you're not supposed to be in that place, but why not exactly? Ex explain that a little bit more to the court. Because... That is a Kalinjin territory area. And majority of the people who would campaign on that place at that time were only the ODM supporters.
Do you remember, uh, Madam Witness, if these individuals that you've uh, estimated at approximately 100, if they were, if they had any type of weapons? No. And, Madam Witness, were you, in fact, impeded from going to campaign in Sinai? Wait, wait. Sorry. Can you hold that question? Madam, when you said no to that question, are you saying no to what? Are you saying that you cannot remember if they had weapons, or are you saying no, they did not have weapons? No, they did not have weapons. Thank you. Madam Witness, just actually on that question, you mentioned that there was uh, that they threw stones at you. Is that correct? Yes. Now, was anyone injured by these uh, stones in your group? Just only one person. Now, Madam Witness, um, I understand that you were confronted with a roadblock. Did this, in fact, impede you from campaigning in Sinai on that day? Can you rephrase the question, Council, using okay. different words? Madam Witness, I'm going to make my question less compl complicated, but were you able to campaign on that day? No. Now, just in terms, uh, Madam Witness, of the uh, date that this occurred, do you remember in what year specifically it happened? The same year, 2006. Now, Madam Witness, I just want to go back to the, um, the incident that you described to us previously that occurred at Cheptiret. Um, one last question I had on that issue is, were, were, were the people there, uh, did they have any type of weapons with them, the people that were shouting at you? No, they did not have any weapons. Were you able, uh, Madam Witness, you and, and the people of your group, to continue campaigning uh, for Kibaki in 2007, prior to the, just prior to the elections? Yeah, we continued, but within the town center, not outskirts of the town. And just so that it can be clear for the record when you're Speaking about the town center, are we speaking about Eldoret Town Center? Yes. And, Madam Witness, why is it that you were unable to or unwilling to go outside of the town center to do your campaigning in that period? Because it has become difficult for us to pass through or maybe to campaign. So we decided not to go out, outside the town again. Okay, just so that it can be uh, a little bit more clear, you say that because it has become difficult for us to pass through, to pass through where or what places? Okay, like Cheptira, we couldn't campaign. If we wanted to campaign around Kimumu areas, it has been difficult for us. So that's the reason why we couldn't go outside the town anymore. 